drying mammoth clothing has often created problems of shrinkage. I therefore hired a blacksmith to build a mammoth-shaped clothes dryer. During the construction, a thunderstorm swept overhead and a bolt of lightning hit the metal dryer. The blacksmith's tools flew through the air and attached themselves to the clothes dryer, dropping to the floor when the lightning had passed. Both blacksmith and mammoth were overwhelmed by the experience. Despite their placid temperament, mammoths are ill-suited to inside work. But their love of the outdoors makes them eager helpers in an agricultural environment. During one particularly heavy coconut harvest, mammoths were used to bend the palm trees so that the farmer could reach the nuts. However, problems arose when the mammoth became distracted and released the rope prematurely distributing the coconuts, the farmer, and the mammoth far and wide. I recently came across an ingenious use of mammoth power. A cam-powered hand cracked the eggs of an extinct bird, and a crank-powered shovel pushed away their shells. It appears the contraption was part of a new restaurant chain dedicated to serving omelets of mammoth proportions. <coughs> Catching a mammoth involves stunning the beast with a gentle blow to its sensitive skull. However, Raising the boulder high enough was quite a task, and not always successful. Huh? After much thought, I suggested replacing the tall towers with ramps made of earth. Not only did this require much less effort, it also increased the rate of mammoth capture. And once caught, the mammoth was eager and ready for work. The first use of mammoths for entertainment was in the famous carousel experiment. Carrots were used to bribe the mammoths to turn one wheel. But even though the mammoths moved with alarming speed, the crowd still appeared bored. I therefore had the mammoths move to the larger wheel, and the chairs hung from the smaller one. This new arrangement proved to be much more exciting. Fighting mammoths have learnt to take in enough water to extinguish a blaze. However, getting the water out is more of a problem. But if the water-filled mammoth is placed in front of a sturdy post and firmly squeezed with a piston, the water is forcefully discharged. Unfortunately, the mammoth's powerful inhalation can create a serious hazard for onlookers. mammoth can move with surprising grace, as I discovered when one young animal borrowed my unicycle. The wheel's rotation aided the beast's natural balance. He became alarmed, however, when the massive wheel resisted his efforts to stop. A pond ended his dizzy trip, but the spinning wheel continued to throw mud far and wide long after the crash. The smell of a mammoth's sleeping quarters was notoriously bad. To control this problem, keepers trained their mammoths to sleep on mats, which had to be changed with some regularity. 
Moving a beast to change the foul-smelling fabric, however, was not an easy task. One day, I observed that a certain keeper had less trouble than others. I was astonished to see that by easing one end of a long pole beneath the creature's massive bulk, the keeper had constructed a simple lever that enabled him to lift the mammoth single-handed. It was common practice for farmers near my laboratory to harvest lemons using a copper lance. I decided to help by equipping the workers' mammoths with some lightweight zinc rods which I had left over from an earlier experiment. I was surprised to see both workers and mammoths seized by invisible forces each time they speared a lemon. Although the farmers were shocked by this turn of events, I could foresee some useful applications for this new source of power. I once came upon a forest mammoth who could both count and remember several numbers at a time. His enterprising owner, a logger by trade, would tap a tusk once for each log needed. A pull on his tail would send him off to bring back the requested number of trees. I decided to expand the mammoth's skills by teaching him addition. It was a mistake, however, to have him calculate our restaurant bill. Although he got the total amount right, he delivered the answer in logs. I have often observed that the mammoth is capable of sleeping while standing up, sometimes sustaining its inactivity for days on end. While playing golf one day, I noticed that the grass growing in the shadow of a particularly inert mammoth was less green than that on the rest of the course. I decided to see whether images other than those of mammoths could be captured. Back in my yard, I paid a local family to stand in a line at the edge of my lawn. Having designed restraints for the younger members of the family, I had them return for the next five days, each time standing in the same places. The result was a perfect image of the family. Despite investing in a frame for my picture, however, it proved unsuitable for public exhibition. After the runaway success of my pressure-sensitive burglar alarm, I thought of other ways in which the mammoth's sensing abilities could be put to use. I tried one experiment at the airport, using mammoths as metal detectors. Large items in luggage were easily located, but I fear the damage caused to passenger relations was irreparable. And so I turned to experiments with mammoth breath testers. The response to intoxicating fumes was instant, but the workforce needed to bring the mammoth round was enormous. <coughs> Due to the nature of their job, stunt mammoths require regular bathing. However, an unwilling mammoth can use its weight very effectively to avoid being dragged to the wash tub. On one occasion, I witnessed an ingenious use of liquid soap and marbles. Once spread beneath the animal's bulk, they greatly reduced its resistance to washing, but sadly not its irritation. I found on my travels that mammoth milk was highly nutritious, though obtaining it was a dangerous task, the animals being notoriously touchy. I decided that some form of harness was needed. I used a system of wheels to lift the beast, 
and was surprised to find that the more wheels I ran the rope over, the easier it was to lift the mammoth. Although obtaining the precious milk was indeed easier, my mammoth harness was still in need of a few modifications. The mammoth is not renowned for its abilities as a musician. So I was most surprised to witness three brave musicians using a mammoth to produce innovative music. A tightly strung tail produced an interesting twang. The animal's taut belly made an admirable boom, while a sharp tap with a hammer made the tusks chime quite pleasantly. The resulting music enhanced by the mammoth's own trumpet call, could only be described as experimental. In the Mammoth Olympics, the crystal discus was a very popular event because of each throw's exciting conclusion. Spare discuses were prepared by my apprentice, but his initial enthusiasm soon gave way to delusions of miniature mammoths parading across the wall. The apparitions were followed by very real smoke and fire. The project lost me a workshop as well as a promising apprentice. Although mammoths must wear shoes to protect their delicate feet, frequent shoe renewal can become a chore. In the search for longer-lasting footwear, the local blacksmith happened upon some pieces of iron of the right size and shape. However, after the first fitting of the new design, a powerful attraction between the shoes prevented all movement on the part of the wearer. I once came upon a delivery mammoth preparing to transport a screen. During a sudden gust of wind, the beast was perturbed to find himself lifted into the air, returning to the ground when the wind dropped. Inspired, I began my own experiments and found that a curved screen resulted in a smoother flight. Even so, screen deliveries remained somewhat unpredictable. In the mountainous southern areas, villagers communicated by using the age-old system of catapulting mammoth couriers from one village to the next. However, the system was threatened by a shortage of volunteer mammoths. In my new system, stones of varying size represented letters of the alphabet and were collected by a receiver. Unfortunately, the catapulter's aim was not always what it could have been. A recently discovered document proves the enormous intelligence of mammoths. A knight and his trusty mammoth were trying to rescue a beautiful princess trapped in a tower. The knight charged up the steps of the tower only to find that the door was locked. Now the mammoth had a bright idea. Holding a tree trunk, he began to turn the tower. And to the knight's amazement, the tower began to screw itself into the ground, so the princess could leap to safety. <sighs> I have often observed that the thing mammoths love most, with the possible exception of eating, is to sleep in the sun. I found that the heat absorbed by a mammoth during the day could be employed in providing a hot shower. A mammoth can similarly be used to pass heat to a cold bed, the only problem being removing the animal at bedtime. 
As a commercial concern, a mammoth makes a fine heated clothes press. It is essential, however, to use nimble employees for this task, as the mammoth may resume its original position at any time. When my mammoth boarded a local ferry, the water seemed eager to join the animal on the raft. To my surprise, the raft sank. I solved this problem by building a wall around the raft, preventing the water from getting on board. Because we were still soaking wet when we got to the other side, I lit a large fire in our tent to dry us. Our journey, however, was to continue in a rather uplifting manner. <laughs>